Construct functions. Lesson 4.6. Standard is 8F4. The objective is to find and interpret the rate of change and initial value of a function. The essential question is how can we model relationships between quantities? We are going to construct functions. In y equals mx plus b, your m is the slope. In terms of functions, it's called the rate of change. It's how much something changes by y per x, like miles per hour or dollars per pound. When we talk about b, that's the y-intercept. In functions, it's called the initial value. It's the starting value where x equals 0. In order to calculate the rate of change, we use the slope formula. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. When you calculate the initial value, this is where you plug in your slope and one of the coordinates, x, y, into the y equals mx plus b equation. Example number one. Music Incorporated charges a yearly subscription fee plus a monthly fee. The total cost for different numbers of months, including the yearly fee, is shown on the graph. Find and interpret the rate of change and initial value. Remember, interpret the rate of change's slope and the initial value is the y-intercept. We're going to start with the rate of change. So I need the slope formula. m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. I can choose any two points on the graph. However, I'm going to use 218 and 630. I'm going to label x, y, x, y, 1, 1, 2, 2. So it's going to be 30 minus 18 all over 6 minus 2. 30 minus 18 is 12. 6 minus 2 is 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So it's going to be $3 per month. And that is my rate of change. Now let's find the initial value. So I need the equation y equals mx plus b. I'm going to use the point 218. So I know that y is 18. m is my slope and we figured that out. It's 3. I'm going to multiply by my x value which is 2 and then I'm going to add b. So I'm going to bring everything down. 18 equals 3 times 2 is 6 plus b. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. 18 minus 6 is 12 and that equals b. So the yearly subscription fee is $12. Since I know that my initial value is 12, I can look at the graph, and if I look on the y-axis, I notice that my line starts a little above 10, which is my y-intercept, which is 12. Example number two, a zoo charges a rental fee plus $2 per hour for strollers. The total cost of five hours is $13. Assume the relationship is linear. Find and interpret the rate of change and the initial value. They're telling us that the rate of change is $2 per hour. This is also known as my slope. So I can actually start my equation y equals 2x plus b. I don't know what b is, but they're giving us a situation that the total cost of 5 hours is $13. We're going to plug in 5 and 13 to find out the final equation. 5 is going to be my x value. 13 is going to be my y value. So y is going to be 13. I'm going to multiply my slope times 5. And then I'm going to bring down b. So I have 13 equals 2 times 5 is 10 plus b. I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. This side will cancel out. 13 minus 10 is 3 
equals B. So the rental fee is the initial fee, which is $3. And my rate of change is two dollars per hour. They gave us the two dollars per hour at the beginning, we just had to pick it out. Example number three the table shows the monthly cost of sending text messages. Assume the relationship between the two quantities is linear. Find and interpret the rate of change and the initial value. The rate of change is a slope. I'm going to use the formula m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. I'm going to go ahead and label on my table my x and my y values. So I have x, y, x, y, 1, 1, 2, 2. So I have 10, 60, minus 10, 50, and then 6 minus 5. 10, 60 minus 10, 50 will give me 10 cents. 6 minus 5 is 1. 10 cents divided by 1 will still give me 10 cents. So my rate of change is 10 cents. Now we need to find the y-intercept. So I need the equation y equals mx plus b. I'm going to use the first set of points, so my y-value is going to be $10.50. My slope is 10 cents. I'm going to multiply by my x-value, which is 5. I'm going to bring down, down $10.50. $0.10 cents times 5 will give me $0.50 cents plus B. I'm going to subtract $0.50 cents from both sides. $10.50 minus $0.50 will give me $10. $0.50 cents minus $0.50 cents will cancel out. I'll be left with B. So my initial value is going to be $10.